Hi, my name is Mae Bobrin, and I'm a board certified behavior analyst with Brett Domain Associates. In this video, we're going to be talking about task list G6, the use of instructions and rules. A rule is a verbal description of a contingency. It's a statement telling us that in a certain setting, if we perform a certain behavior, then a certain response will follow. An instruction is what a rule says something will happen and how we should respond to it. Next, let's talk about rule governed behavior. Rule governed behavior are behaviors that have been generated through exposure to rules. They're crucial for the existence and maintenance of human civilization. Although humans respond effectively to life without having direct contact with contingencies, that would be destructive in an inefficient way to contact um, reinforcement and punishment contingencies. Rules also allow us to avoid dangerous consequences, such as the rule, look both ways before you cross the street. So let's take an example. So there's a rule, if you drink spoiled milk, you'll get sick. You don't necessarily have to experience a contingency in order to adhere to this rule. In a clinical application, that would be responding to a rule containing an if-then statement. An if-then statement is a simple rule that specifies both the antecedents and the behavior or behaviors that should occur in its presence. An example would be, if you finish your dinner, then you could have dessert. Rule setting is considered a good teaching practice in many different settings, in the classroom, in the home, in vocational settings, etc. The rule is generally stated as what the learner is expected to do. In the Tar Box et al. article, the experimenters were able to demonstrate generalization to novel rules for all participants through the use of multiple exemplar training. Rules were taught through direct training. For example, clap if this is a pencil, um, you know, jump if this is a hand. Also, participants were prompted to describe why their response was appropriate. So maybe like, that's not a bike, so I didn't stop my feet. Generalization probes were conducted when rules were presented with a generalized rule following established repertoire. If-then cues can be used to have learners respond appropriately, even when they've never received reinforcement for complying with that particular rule in the past. A rule is an establishing operation that establishes rule breaking as an aversive motivating condition. Contingency shaped behavior has immediate direct consequences. So now let's talk a little bit about contingency shaped behaviors. These behaviors are learned because of the reinforcement or punishment contingencies in place based on the consequences the individual was exposed to by their actions. They have immediate and direct consequences. Unlike contingency shaped behavior, for rule governed behavior, the consequences may not necessarily be experienced by the individual. Let's do a quick comparison. For contingency based behavior, the antecedent stimuli is the environment, so like a hot stove. The consequence stimuli would be the reinforcement or the punishment contingency. For rule governed behavior, the antecedent stimuli are the rules. For example, a sign that says out of order. And the consequence stimuli are the instructions themselves. If you don't use a parking meter with a sign that says out of order on it, it'd be considered a rule governed behavior. If you use it anyway, and lose your money, and now in the future, don't use a parking meter sign that's out of order, that would be considered a contingency state behavior. Some research theorize rules as discriminative stimuli, but rules do not necessarily adhere to all the requirements of a discriminative stimuli. The discriminative stimuli immediately strengthens behaviors, but with rule-governed behavior, there's a delay between when the rule was presented and the behavior was demonstrated. Also, Part of the requirement of the discriminative stimuli is that it evokes behaviors that have been reinforced in the past. For rule governed behavior, the individual does not necessarily contact the contingency as the rule is stated. For example, the rule, look both ways before you cross the street. The individual is not told the rule immediately before crossing the street and does not have to contact the inversive condition in order to follow that rule. Please subscribe to our channel and to disseminate the science, share this video.